Today we are going to be talking all about the beautiful Hoya Linearis. So this is actually one of my favorite Hoya. I love the look of trailing plants and this one is definitely one of the most beautiful trailing plants that you can have in your home in my opinion. I got mine uh, less than a year ago now actually. I ordered it from Crystal Star last June I believe and it came to me as just a small cutting and it's totally exploded since then. I have taken multiple cuttings of this plant. I have traded them and I have just some of the cuttings growing around my home and I still have this beautiful plant that just won't stop growing. As you can see he has little crazy uh, vines coming out the top here. I just don't think that they're quite heavy enough to kind of droop and trail down just yet. But you guys, when I first got this plant, I was so nervous about it. Um, I had heard that this could be a difficult Hoya, that this uh, plant was prone to different pests, and just that it was a little bit more finicky than regular Hoya. And I didn't even have too many Hoya at this point either, so I was stressed. But to my pleasant surprise, this has been one of my easiest plants, you guys. It has been very easy to care for. I've never had a pest issue with it, and I have had 100% success rate propagating it. Now, I'm not gonna say that this is going to be the case for everybody, but I just don't think that they are as tricky as they're cracked up to be. So let's go over how I care for my Hoya Linearis. So let's start with lighting. This plant for, I think, the entirety of the time that I've had it um, has been grown under a grow light. This sits underneath my Mars Hydro grow lights, which are quite powerful. Um, so that might be contributing to how quickly it grows. And it also does live in my plant room. So the humidity is between usually between 50 and 60%. I know that they typically do like a higher lighting situation. I can't speak to a lot of different lighting situations because I've solely grown this plant under grow lights, but that's just what I've done and it's worked really well. Um, but based on my experience, I would say either grow lights or a south or west facing window would be perfect for this guy. As for watering, these are a bit thirstier than some of our more waxy Hoya, like the Carnosa, but um, they aren't super thirsty. And you can tell when they need a drink just by, I, I just kind of grab one of the leaves and I kind of bend it. This one has a little bit of give to it right now, so it could probably use a watering pretty quick. But they will be, you will notice that they are firmer after you've watered and then they do get softer. So like a lot of Hoya, um, you can kind of do like a squish test and you can do the same thing with this guy. Just a little bit different because the leaf shape is different. As you can see, I do have him in a terracotta pot and I also have him in quite a fluffy, chunky potting mixture. Seems to be really happy in that. As for fertilizing, I kind of rotate between spraying him with organ mist or just giving him a light fertilization when I water. I do both, um, just kind of depending on how often I'm going around and spraying all of my Hoyas with my orchid mist because I typically only do that like a couple times a month. And if I'm just fertilizing with his watering, then I usually just mix in some of my Grotech Vitamax Pro Fertilizer. That's what I've been using for the past few months. And yeah, he's been doing great. As for propagating, like I said, I've taken multiple cuttings from him and I noticed that when I took the cuttings is when he put out these new shoots. So I feel like it really helped him to get a little bit bushier. Like I said, this started from, it was either one or two strands. It was a very small, um, very small little starter plant. I actually really enjoy to uh, chop and prop my Hoya because it does usually encourage them to put off a new growth point. Okay, I just realized that I totally forgot to talk about propagation, so I'm just gonna go over it quickly. I knew I was forgetting something. So propagation is very easy with these guys. It's pretty much the same as most Hoya. So you just wanna take a cutting below a node. Um, so you can see an example of a node right there, that little bump. 
and that is where roots are going to grow from. There is usually nodes at each of these little junctions here. Um, I would probably even cut below this one and then try to root from here uh, so that I could pot this part and then that would just be the growth, you know, rather than having to have the leaves so close to the node. If you were gonna cut here, you might wanna remove these leaves because um, there's a high risk for them to rot unless you're doing something like laying it flat in a prop box, which you can totally do. Um, I do have a small piece of linearis actually rooting in one of my prop boxes right now so I can show you that but I've had really good success with just rooting these guys in water as well so literally all you would need to do is take a cutting pop it in water so that the nodes are submerged and then it's gonna grow roots from there once the roots are an inch to two inches long then you can pot them in potting mix or whatever medium of your choosing okay so this is my perlite propagation box and I will show you I just sprayed in here that's why it's so damp but I do have Hoya linearis right here let me just move this monstera dubia over a little bit so you can see the roots coming from that node right beneath the leaf set um, is rooting down into the perlite so this cutting is doing pretty well. It does have new gr growth coming from there. Um, I did have this in sphagnum and for some reason it just wasn't taking off. So that's why I moved it to the perlite. And so far so good. I have had phenomenal success with rooting in perlite, you guys. So this is a little, ooh, my grow light literally always turns off when I'm filming. So this is a little Hoya linearis that I uh, propagated, just potted in soil recently and moved into my mini greenhouse here. And you can see it's doing okay. It's putting out some new growth and yeah. I will say that the new growth on these guys is very, very delicate. If you knock one of these fuzzy little new leaves, it will probably fall right off. So be really careful. Like I said, I have not, luckily, I have not had any pest issues with this plant. Um, I have heard that they are quite prone to mealy bugs. I've never had mealies on this guy, thank goodness. But um, yeah, apparently that's what I've heard. So just inspect your plant regularly for pests and you should be just fine. I think that that is pretty much everything I can think of for this guy right now. He's very straightforward. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, also leave me a suggestion for which plant you would like me to do a care guide for next. All right, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Try